Hello, this is Kate from DailyTarotGirl.com, and this is your weekly tarot card reading. And for this week's reading, I'm using one of my favorite decks. It's called the Dark Mansion Tarot. All right. Whoops. So I just want to let you know before I get into this week's reading that I'm going to be doing a live stream on my YouTube channel tomorrow, so Saturday. I think it's the 16th and it's going to be really laid back, really fun. I'm going to be coloring with my coloring book so you can bring your, your sketchbook or your coloring book and, and color with me and we can chit chat and talk about all kinds of things. Um, so I'll put the link to that in the description box below this video if you're interested in hanging out with me tomorrow. Uh, it's at one o'clock on Saturday. So the first card that we have for the beginning of the week, so Monday, Tuesday, is the Ace of Wands. All right. So <clears throat> Ace of Wands, I love it when there's an ace at the beginning of the week. Uh, aces usually represent like a fresh burst of energy, like a, an opportunity to start something new and or, or even just like a, a new beginning of some sort. And because this is the Ace of Wands and the Suit of Wands is very fiery, it's a very hot, dry, warm suit. And I associate the suit of wands with basically life force, that passion, that zest for life um, that we all have in varying degrees at different times in our lives. And when we can tap into that energy, it's really amazing what we can what we can do, what we can accomplish, and the experiences that we have. And so I kind of associate, uh, associate the suit of wands with that kind of energy, but also with things like career, you know, your work in the world, creativity. It's that driving force that helps you um, transform your your energy into some kind of purpose, some kind of drive. And so we have the Ace of Wands at the beginning of the week. And this card is really asking you, um, actually, it's not asking you anything. It's, it's offering something to you. And it's offering you an opportunity not just to tap into this energy, because we all have this energy within us, but it's offering you an opportunity to really kind of tap into your creative side. I often think of, when I look at this card, I think of like ideas, opportunities, and it makes me think of when you're just sort of going about your day and all of a sudden you get this great idea and then you start thinking about it and then you start feeling fired up about it. You start feeling passionate about it. So this card is saying, you know, pay attention to those ideas that just kind of seem to drop out of the sky. Um, I feel like there's another message with this card around um, honoring where that passionate, driven, creative energy wants to take you. Because I think sometimes we have, you know, a set of innate, natural born skills and talents and we have this idea of where we want to go, but then, you know, the culture in general or your family uh, tells you like, no, you've got to do this. Or even just your logical mind steps in and is like, well, that doesn't make a lot of sense to pursue that. I, I should pursue this. And we try to sort of fit ourselves into these little boxes. And the Ace of Wands is saying, you know what? Honor that that energy that you came in with. Honor that natural inclination to go towards a certain thing. So pay attention to what you're drawn to, what you want to learn more about, and and what kinds of things you fantasize about. Like when you fantasize about yourself living your ideal life, you know what do you picture yourself doing? All right, let's move on to the middle card. All right, so here we have the Queen of Cups. And I almost feel like my camera needs to be a bit higher. I know you're probably thinking like, oh, you just thought of that now halfway through the video. <laughs> there, that's better. <laughs> okay, so we have the Queen of Cups for the center card, which is the middle of the week. So like kind of Wednesday, Thursday-ish, maybe a bit of Friday. And the Queen of Cups brings this calm, 
nurturing energy to the reading, which is in stark contrast to the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is fiery and exciting, and it's like you get this great idea for something. It's like, ah. And then the Queen of Cups, she is holding a space for that energy to take shape, for that energy to unfold. So the Queen of Cups, um, hmm, what does she mean for us? Midweek is a time to really tap into your nurturing side. I associate the Queen of Cups with nurturing, particularly um, holding space for emotion and feeling, because quite often we don't do this for ourselves. You know, we may feel comfortable holding a space for positive emotions and feelings, but maybe we don't hold a space for the negative feelings and emotions. So when a disturbing emotion or an overwhelming emotion comes up for you, or even just an unpleasant emotion, what is your go-to method of coping? Do you immediately try to distract yourself? Do you immediately try to get rid of that feeling? Uh, or are you comfortable going into it? The Queen of Cups just holds a space for it to exist. So she, so so this is like if you get a, an uncomfortable feeling, like say just a vague uneasiness, and you're not really sure why or what it's about. The Queen of Cups would acknowledge the feeling and allow the feeling to be there, and maybe even explore it a little bit, not in a really aggressive like, oh, I have to get to the root of this, but just in a, a laid back, kind of curious, gentle way. And notice, you know, when did the feeling show up? What do you think the feeling is connected to? Is the feeling trying to tell you something? Is, it, is there a message with that feeling? And really be gentle with yourself when you're going through that process. Um, okay, let's look at the last card. This is the card for Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And here we have the Nine of Wands. This is interesting. This is a card of defensiveness and feeling like <clears throat> you have to be on guard and feeling like you really need to protect yourself. So this can come up. Um, I'm going to connect it to the other two cards somehow. Sometimes this can come up when you get a brilliant idea for something that you're really passionate about, and then you comes the fear of worrying that someone's going to steal that idea, or even that others aren't going to be as receptive to your great idea as you want them to be. And I think that with the emotional work that we have the opportunity to do uh, the middle of the week, that requires you to be, to, to kind of allow yourself to soften and be a little bit vulnerable. And sometimes the things can kind of swing the other way where because you're open and vulnerable, you swing into this sort of defensive mode. The nine of wands is all about the importance of feeling safe. And it's important to think about the difference between feeling safe and being safe because you can be safe and not feel safe and you can feel safe even when technically you aren't safe <laughs> so um the nine of wands asks you you know are you if, if you're feeling defensive at the end of the week if you're feeling like you have to prove something or that you want to protect yourself the nine of wands challenges you to ask yourself is this a real threat that I am responding to? Or is this something I'm just sort of perceiving in my mind? And what can I do for myself this weekend in order to feel comfortable and safe in exploring you know, new creative ideas or new ways of doing things and in opening more to my feelings and my emotions about things? Um, and I think that's really that's really the issue with the Nine of Wands. It's like, what can you do for yourself to feel more comfortable and more safe? Because what's happening in the, the beginning of the week and the middle of the week, it's like a call for you to be more authentic, to be more true to yourself in terms of what you're feeling and what you're wanting to create and the direction that you're wanting to go in. And, uh, and I think that whenever there's this call to be more authentic, 
um, we get panicky sometimes. Like there's a lot of fear around that. When you think about being more real, <laughs> when you think about being more yourself and expressing yourself in an authentic way, I think for most of us that brings up a feeling, it might first bring up a feeling of like exuberance and energy and excitement and then you get kind of nervous <laughs> and then maybe terrified. Um, and so the, the Nine of Wands is saying, you know, what can you do for yourself so that you feel um, it makes me think of that phrase, fe feel the fear and do it anyways. So it's not about avoiding things that you're afraid of, but it's about finding a way to do things that, that feel challenging maybe for you. Um, but being able to have the courage to do that, even if it feels uncomfortable. All right. So I didn't really have time to zoom out and look at the well I guess I did kind of read all these cards together I always like at the end of the reading I like to look for any kind of repeating themes I mean there is this theme of hands holding something like there's a hand grasping the wand there's a hand grasping the cup and there's a hand grasping another wand um, and it feels like it's like raising a cup or or picking up a baton it's like you're picking up a challenge and you're ready to kind of go for something, whatever that is. And for all of us, it's going to be a little bit different. I know for myself, I know what this is referring to. There's something I've been wanting to pursue and, and start a project I've wanted to start for a long time and I keep putting it off. So I hope this reading resonated with you. I want to say thank you so much for watching. Um, Feel free to, to share your own interpretations of these cards in the comment section below. And I hope you can join me for my uh, live event on Saturday at 1 p.m. Uh, coloring and chit chat. I'll put the link to that live event in the description box below the video. I hope you have a good week.